How about you leave the popsicle? Ziggy leave? Pop! So you can go what are you doing here? Terra. You can't be too happy about him deep sixing your master. <laughs> what are you doing Why? here, you doof? You think you two have got some grand role to play? As if. You're only here so that when I finish you off, Terra will succumb to the darkness. So, who wants to go first? Shut up! Oh, so this kiddo thinks he's a full-fledged Keyblade wielder. He's got the angry look down. Go ahead if you want to waste your time. Keep trying to drive us apart with your mind games. It'll never work. It only works when I spy on them. Because, you know, I'm Aqua and I'm evil like that. Terra will prove to you he's stronger! Aqua! If only we got to see cutscenes of the fight, that would have been fun. Yeah. But alas! Yeah. Yeah. I keep forgetting don't mess with Keyblade wielders. But you know what? That just means I made the right choice. Well, he wanted me to buy time, and I'd say he got it. Yeah. What? by like an inch. Damn, Vanitas. You're not cool as ice, Van. Come on, you can save her. No! Hey, he melted the ice. Good work, Van. Venetus is, as you would expect, a little bit more challenging the next time around. First off, he'll ride on this little Keyblade Tornado. And next, he... After that, he goes into his regular moveset. Oh, oh, cool! I did not know you could knock him off. He'll go into his regular moveset of doing this shit. Diving underground and trying to shoot shit at you. Basically, all you gotta do is just kick his face in. Which is a lot easier than you think. And a lot easier than it should have been. It should have been a lot harder, but alas. They want it to be fair for this one. Dream Drop Distance is the one where it gets uncharacteristically hard. Alright. And boom, da boom, 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 da boom. Come on, kid! Come on, kid, see? Gotta get the snake, see? Come on! Yeah, get torn up by those. Come on! Come on, Fanny Boy! Fanny Boy! The pipes, the pipes are calling! You don't get to ride on a frickin' thing! Ha <laughs> ha! That's what you get. I set you on fire. You are set on fire. What you gotta say now? Now that my body is about to perish, you and I will have to join together. No, I don't have the to. The Keyblade will be forged. The fact that he's staying still, what what is this bull? Hey! I'm not here to hog. Come from you? It happened when you and I were split into two. The negativity took shape as these monsters. They are what I feel. A horde of fledgling emotions under my control. I released them in all the worlds I could. 
hoping like to seven of them? Away from home There's like a thousand other worlds you could have gone to. We needed to make you stronger. The Unversed were the perfect opponents. And better yet, no matter how many times you defeat them, their negativity flows right back into me. You never stood a chance against us, Ventus. We failed! Brilliant job as always, man. And down goes Aqua. And when this shoots up in a prism of absolute light... At the same time, Terra is being possessed. How wonderful. But we're not done yet, Kitty Winks. We may very well have one last shot to redeem ourselves. Huh? Our union was not finished. The Keyblade shouldn't stay broken like this. Join me now. We can complete the Keyblade! I've got a better idea. How about I destroy you both? With my ice cream keyblade! <laughs> the keyblade is made of your heart too, idiot. If you destroy it, your heart will vanish forever. Whatever it takes. Anything to save Terra and Aqua. <laughs> it's always about your friends, isn't it? At least I have some. Oh, burn! Part of their heart. Just as they become a part of mine. My friends are my power, and I'm there. Naturally, the final boss event story is Venetus. This one is a lot harder and a lot more difficult to explain. It's sort of the normal fight with Vegeta, Vegeta, Venetus jacked up to about six or seven, so it's pretty difficult. You're gonna have to be healing a lot, or you're gonna have to be on guard a lot, so just be on your guard. And even though he doesn't have a lot of health, there is one last thing we have to do to beat him. I will explain what that is in a minute. Because Venetus is a sore loser and he can't take losing the old fashioned way. At least Xehanort can do that. But no, Venetus can't because he's a butt. All you really gotta do is just make sure you live enough, get some health back, heal up, do some damage. You got one bar of health left. Block, 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 counter, block, 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 counter. Block, heal, up, up, heal. There we go. Oh, wow, he missed. Nice. And here it comes. Venetus forces you to essentially link with him. And the only way you can beat him is maxing out this gauge by performing successful attacks. First, rotate the stick when this happens, and bam! Hit each button in correct manner with this with this particular attack, and you're good. Honestly, you're better off sticking with the dark spirals, so they can do shit like this. The dark splicer is a little bit trickier with the amount of button combinations you can press. But anything, so long as that gauge underneath Venetus' name goes through. And once it reaches the top, all you gotta do is hit the X button and chicka chicka BOOM! And the fight's over. Venetus is down, then dragged him down with him. When I first saw that that was the Keyblade, the supreme weapon, I thought that I thought the game was a joke. But then they said, oh, well, this wasn't the real Keyblade, but whatever. 
We'll worry about that later. Because it blew up. It blew up. Ven beat Vanitas. And now Ven's going to go take a snooze. For about... 3,000 years. Depending on how much actual space there is between... Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep and Kingdom Hearts 3. I believe it's 13 or 12 years. I think I believe it's 13 years. But I could be wrong. And there goes Ven. Goodbye, Ven. It's been fun. But your heart vanishes forever. As Vanitas said, we had to be the hero to sacrifice ourselves. And hey, we got report number 10. And oh, look at that. Aqua and Ven managed to make it out of the Keyblade graveyard. Somehow. And the rat saved them. Stupid rat. All everybody he wants everyone to be in debt to the evil Disney Empire. But rather than sink into an abyss, Ven finds himself somewhere else. Somewhere different. Somewhere bright. This place. been here. So warm. I remember now. This is your heart. Unfortunately, this next part had to get cut because of copyright stuff with the song it used, but hey, I'm an optimist. I do what I can. That was Ven's story in Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Do I have any thoughts? I like it. Not as much as I like Terror and Aqua story, but you know what? I like Fen. I, 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 I have a soft spot for him now. He, he's not as more as obnoxious and annoying when I first as he was when I first played the game. Unfortunately, though, there is some stuff I don't like and some inconsistencies that can't, that the future Kingdom Hearts games don't cover when it comes to Fen. And there's even more shenanigans that get covered in other Kingdom Hearts games, like the mobile game that we need to know, but unfortunately, I don't have any interest in playing or covering that. I basically just watch a guy on YouTube who uploads the cutscenes. But that basically wraps up uh, Ven's story. We've got not that much more to go in terms of developing this franchise. We've got Aqua's story to go, and then we've got the post-game. So, with that in mind... I want to thank you guys for joining me on this journey. I'm your friendly neighbor, Deadman64, and I will see you in a couple of days when I start uploading Aqua Story. So, until we meet again, my lovelies, sayonara.